Hello everyone, this is John with Siptopia.org. In this quick tutorial, we are going to use Repro uh, SIP proxies installed in two Kali Linux instances to create what they call a SIP trapezoid, a shape that you would see almost in every single uh, SIP document. As you can see, we have two Kali instances running at the top with the repro installed and two Kali Linux instances at the bottom with again uh, SFL phones installed our SIP phones. Uh, the installation of repro is so easy I'm not even going to cover it here you just use you just open a terminal and type apt dash get space install space repro now that's the installation but the configuration uh, is a little more tricky so you gotta first take a look at your IP addresses in this case Tarzan SIP proxy is 192.168.1.6 whereas Jane's SIP proxy has .9 now uh, you need to open this repro.config file which is located at etc slash repro as you can see and these four lines are the most important I guess the minimum requirements that you need to satisfy this the IP address and the port that we will be listening but uh, with these changes you have to restart the service and this is the command that you should use so once you install and configure these IP addresses you go to the IP address of the SIP proxy it's important to note that uh, 5080 is the default port here so and as you can see the username password is admin admin by default we are not using a DNS uh, server so we are just gonna conf we just configured the IP addresses of the SIP proxies as domains on both sides uh, this is the uh, subnet that we use uh, in our wireless environment now here we added Tarzan in SIP proxy 1 whereas Jane in SIP proxy 2 so in the show route section we said if Tarzan calls this URI send it to as you can see the other SIP proxy the IP address changes as you can see the test also shows the URI change similarly on the right we have the same for Tarzan now when you click on the registrations you can see that on the left we have Tarzan registered to SIP proxy 1 and Jane on SIP proxy 2 so at the bottom as I mentioned earlier we have our SFL phones let's move these uh, Kali instances uh, to the center to take a look at what we have running as I mentioned we have four different Kali instances now we are looking at the two that are hosting the SIP phones the SFL phones as you can see uh, Jane's SFL phone has the IP address dot twenty. Uh, it's using the account alias Jane. And Tarzan's SIP phone has the IP address dot eighteen, and using the alias Tarzan. Now we have uh, Wireshark uh, ready. Let's start running it and call Jane. To keep it simple, we had put uh, the whole URI uh, in the route section, as you may recall. So we are calling exactly that uh, URI. Oh, on the right, we do see the call coming to Jane from Tarzan. Jane answers the call. 
of course we are running uh, virtual machines uh, so things are not as fast and as accurate so <laughs> Tarzan's phone is still showing ringing uh, so you have to excuse that now we have the call established Tarzan hangs up and now we have captured our call using the SIP trapezoid if you have any questions comments about this quick tips video please let us know thank you so much bye bye